بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ آئی ہوپ اینڈ پری دیٹ ایوری ون از ویل الحمد للہ وی ہیو انٹر دا سکس ویک آف آر کورس بائی دا گریس آف اللہ اینڈ آئی جسٹ وانٹ ٹو ریکویسٹ آل دا اسٹوڈنٹس اینڈ پیرنٹس دیٹ ایٹ دس پوائنٹ ایف یو اسٹل ہیونٹ بین لسنڈ ٹو the one of the earliest surahs for example surah al-fatiha surah an-nas uh, surah al-falaq surah al-ikhlas surah an-nasr and surah al-lahab if you still haven't been listened uh, to one of those surahs then please send us your hips recordings because we have entered the second half of our course and um if we keep um if we only listen to you during the classes and during breakout rooms it won't be possible uh, to listen to all of the surahs from everyone so it is very important that you start sending in your recordings okay so this was something that was mentioned at the start of the course as well you can send the recordings at g3hifs@gmail.com in the subject in the email subject uh, please mention hifs recording okay so inshallah Uh, we will be checking all the recordings and updating the students hips record okay and uh, during the classes we'll try to listen to one of the recent surahs from all students so this way hopefully uh, we can listen to all of you uh, we can listen to all of the surahs from all of you so now let's start our today's class today is the 28th lesson and today we will be covering surah al baqarah verses 13 to 14 so let's start with the opening prayer can i request the st for a student assalam alaikum can e019 unmute herself ng3019 assalam alaikum assalam alaikum wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah how are you today good how are you alhamdulillah i'm fine too Okay, let's start the prayer with Tawuz. Jazakallah you recited really well mashallah so now i will remind everyone about our class etiquettes so make sure that you have done your wuzu before uh, joining the class and that you are wearing clean clothes your head should be covered with a scarf if you are nasrat and a cap if you are a atfal make sure you are sitting in a quiet place this is very important if you are going to get a turn on the mic okay otherwise um i won't be able to listen to you and your fellow students won't be able to hear you either um next it is important that you are sitting with an adult okay it could be a sibling or your parents and lastly make sure that you have joined with the correct id if you haven't joined with the correct id please check right now okay rename yourself otherwise um in a few minutes you will be placed in the waiting room So if you do end up in the waiting room it means you have joined with incorrect id so um correct it and join again okay so today we are going to do a recap of the rule of idgham okay so this rule was covered in one of the previous lessons as well idgham means to merge or to assimilate the sound of noon sakin or tanmin if it is followed by one of these six letters okay so you can see here in this example for example we have tanween here okay tanween of kasra kasratan followed by waw mushaddad okay and waw is one of the 
idham letters so we, instead of making the sound of noon we are going to merge it okay and we are going to make a slight nasal sound okay so now there are two types of idham we have partial idham okay or partial assimilation and complete idham complete assimilation if noon sakin or tanin is followed by one of these four letters okay you can remember these yan mu if you remember this word yan mu you'll be able to recall them easily okay so if you find that noon sakin or tanin is followed by a ya mushaddad noon meem or wa mushaddad you have to merge the sound with a two second nasal sound okay whereas if you find that noon sakin or tanin is followed by these two letters or ra mushaddad or lam mushaddad you have to do a complete idgham in which case you will not make any nasal sound okay so i hope that everyone can remember this um all the students try to remember these six letters okay yanmu ril you can remember it by remembering this word yanmu ril so now we are going to practice these um words can i request yes t for a student assalam alaikum can i request ag3043 to unmute ag3043 assalam alaikum wa alaikum assalam okay uh, um let's start let's practice these examples start with bismillah bismillah a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem bismillahir rahmanir rahim la la ha la ha bi wa tab tab ha okay so here uh, so ag3043 underneath ba we have the mean of noon okay this is called the mean so in a normal situation we will pronounce this as lahabin right the sound of noon will be clear at the end but because it's followed by waw mushaddad okay and waw is one of our idgham letters we have to merge the sound okay and make a nasal sound for 2 seconds okay don't go all the way to bin stop midway lahabun wa tab right what in what the okay much better next one abalu mi na masa okay so in this example we have two places where we have to apply the gram okay first we have tanwin followed by mim mushaddad again mim is one of our dham letters and then we have noon sakin okay followed by mim mushaddad so these are the two places where we have to merge the sound of noon into the following mushaddad letter okay and hold the nasal sound for 2 seconds hablum masad try hablum Masad. Okay, much better. This one. La la ha bin bin wa wa mu ya atel tu tu. That's right. So in this one. Do you know where we have to do the dram? Can you spot it? Remember, the dram concerns noon sakin and tanmin. Can you see a tanmin here? La. 
where do you see it? So this is a tanween. Okay, we have tanween of kasra, tanween of fatha, and tanween of dhamma. These are the three types of tanweens. Okay, so this one is tanween of kasra, kasra ten. This is where we have to do the idgham. Okay, so we have to merge the sound of noon into vow mushaddad. Laha bim Okay, so here the alif is a blank alif. Okay, so we are not going to pronounce it. We have to join the wow straight into meme sakin. Okay. Okay. So this is going to be vam vam ra'atu. Vam ra'atu. Much better. Jazakallah. Okay. Can we have another student for the remaining words? Assalamualaikum. Can NG three zero four four unmute herself? NG three zero four four. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. Okay, so let's practice the remaining uh, words. You can start with Bismillah. Auzu billahi min ash-shaytanir-rajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Where do I have to start from? This word, the second word in the middle box. Okay. Very good. Um, don't prolong the la too much. Do you know how long you have to prolong it for? For two seconds. That's right. So it should be um, just as long as this la. Okay, we have this lam with vertical fatha and then alam followed by alif mat. So both of them should be equally as long as each other. And do you know uh, where we are applying idram in this in these words? Where are we? We need to um, join the, um, where we need to go like gila. That's right, on noon sakin, followed by lam shadid. And is it complete idram or is it partial idram? Um, partial idram. Okay, so look carefully. Noon sakin is followed by which letter? Complete idram. That's right. So noon sakin is followed by lam. Okay, and lam is one of the two letters on which complete idram applies. Okay, moving on, this one. Excellent. Again, can you point out where you applied the dram? And um, where we need to go, like, um, Delhi. That's right. So this time we are doing the dram on this mean okay fathatan we are merging the sound of noon here into the following lama all right last word okay very good almost perfect uh, try to make a nasal sound when you merge the tanmeen into wa mushaddad okay and hold it for two seconds Excellent. Jazakillah. Uh, so now we are going to move on to our today's lesson, which is Surah Al-Baqarah, verses 13 to 14. 
So before we practice these verses, I will play uh, the audio for the same verses. And I would like to request all the students to listen carefully and repeat. So this will be a good practice. And when I start playing this, can the ST just confirm uh, that the sound is clear? Hello. ST, can you confirm that the sound is clear? Yes, it's clear. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, it's not clear right now. Okay. So give me a second. ألا إنهم هم المفسدون ولكن لا يشعرون ألا إنهم هم المفسدون ولكن لا يشعرون وإذا قيل لهم آمنوا كما آمن الناس قالوا أنؤمن كما آمن السفهاء وإذا قيل لهم آمنوا كما آمن الناس قالوا أنؤمن كما آمن السفهاء ألا إنهم هم السفهاء ولكن لا يعلمون ألا إنهم هم السفهاء ولكن لا يعلمون Okay, so that was the end of the um, audio clip. I hope that everyone was uh, reciting alongside. So let's go back. So now we are going to practice the same verses. Uh, can I request the ST for another student? Assalamu alaikum. Can NG3048 unmute herself? NG3048, Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum, NG3048. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum rahmatullah. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, perfect. So let's start. Yeah, I'll go back to this page.
Can you say this again, the last two words? Jazakillah. So, uh, very good. You recited uh, nicely. A few um, things in terms of pronunciation which you can work on. Okay, so first of all, do you know what rule you have to apply? So we have a noon sakin. Followed by lam. We just covered this rule earlier. So what do we have to do with the sound of noon here? Is it going to be clear? Or are we going to... Are we going to Aslan Ikum NG three zero four eight. Do you know the name of the rule? So here and here we are doing the rule of that's right, it's Idram. Okay, and in Idram we have two types we have the complete idram and partial idram okay so do you know which one we are applying here complete. that's right complete idram because noon sakin is followed by lam okay if it's followed by lam or ra we do complete idram so do we do a nasal sound or not yes. no so when you were reciting, I thought that maybe there was some confusion. In complete idram, we don't do any nasal sound. Okay, so, so it's almost as if the noon is silent. So this is going to be wala killa. Okay. So can you try this again? So you are joining the calf straight into Lam Mushaddad. Okay, the noon is completely merged. Okay, with no nasal sound. The next thing, uh, do you know the name of this sign? Um, That's right, it is mud, but we have types. Okay. We have this one, and then we have this one. Do you know the specific names for each of these? This one is the small one. It's called Madhu Sagir, okay, the medium long stretch. And this is extra long stretch, Madhu Kabir. Do you know how long is longed for? So is one is prolonged from five seconds. Okay. So if you have a short breath, you can prolong it for as little as three seconds. Okay. But with practice, uh, people can go up to five seconds. Okay. Whereas this one, we have to prolong it for four to six seconds. Okay. And I felt like yours was a bit short. So can you write from here again? Aminu and make sure that you prolong these. Okay, prolong it for a bit longer. Okay, 
Okay. Jazakallah. And the last thing that I want to point out is this letter over here. Do you know anything about this letter? It's uh, a, a, a It is a Kalkala letter, but there is another thing about this letter. It is also a thick letter. Okay, it's one of the seven thick letters. The reason why it's not a Kalkala letter here is because it's not carrying the sign of Sukun. Okay, so for Kalkala, remember the Kalkala letter needs to be Sakin. It needs to carry the sign of Sukun. So uh, the reason why I've highlighted this here is because you need to make a thick sound for this. Okay, so we have two types of cough. This is a thin one, calf, and this is thick, cough. Okay, so try this again. Okay, much better. So if you round your lips and raise the back of your tongue towards the roof of the mouth, you can get the correct sound for this letter. Okay, Jazakillah G3048. So now we are going to um, move on to the listening part of the class. I will be listening to hips from students in the main session and I will open the breakout room where another teacher will listen to the hips from the um, from the other gr um, group of students. Okay, so uh, I would like to request all the students, if you receive a notification to join the breakout room, please click on join and join the breakout room. That way you will be more likely uh, to get a chance on the mic. Okay. So just give me one second. Okay, so you should be, um, all the students should start to receive the notification now. Okay, can I request the support teacher to give me a student for HIPS? Asalaamu Alaikum, N3055. Can you please unmute yourself? Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam How are you today? Good. Alhamdulillah. All right. So, which surah have you memorized recently? NG3055. And Surah Ikhla. Surah Al-Ikhlas, okay. And you haven't recited that before to any teacher, have you? No. Okay, that's fine. You can start reciting. Start with the words. A'udhu billahi minash I'm going to ask you to recite the surah again, but before that, please make sure that you're sitting in a quiet place. Okay, there was some noise coming from a uh, background, so I couldn't hear you properly. Jazakallah. Okay. Whenever you are ready. Yeah. Okay. You can start from Bismillah. Bismillah. 
بسم الله أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل والله الله السمد لم يعلد ولم يولد ولم يقل له كفوا أهد Jazakillah. So I'm going to resume the screen share. Okay, NG3055. Um, mashallah, your hips was really almost perfect. In like practice, it will become better. In terms of pronunciation, uh, when you recite the words, okay, uh, we have we have the short. Okay, NG3055, yeah. listen, uh, listen first, okay, and then you can recite again. So, underneath the ha, we have ra, right? Mm -hmm. Do you know how mm -hmm. long uh, kasra should be prolonged? Um, no. Okay, it's supposed to be prolonged for only one second, okay? So, don't say he, okay, he. A'udhu Billah Try Okay A'udhu Billah He Much better Much better, well done The other thing is Differentiate between the sound of Alif and Ayn Okay Both of these are letters do you know which part of the throat Ayn comes from? Kudna? Top? Does it come from top, middle, or part of the throat? Um, top? No, it comes from the middle part of the throat. Okay, so you have to remember this. So try to say this again, and you can... If if you put a finger on your throat, okay, in the middle, when you say ain, you'll feel which part it's coming from. Okay, so try again. Okay, very good effort. So let's move on to the surah text. So again, on scene, we have sukoon. Okay, so don't spend too long on the scene. This, don't do this, okay? Bismillah. It should be very um, short, okay? So momentary, it should be Bismillah. See? Bismillah. Much better. Okay, and just like Ayn, the big ha also comes from middle part of the throat, okay? So this mm -hmm. ha comes from middle and this, this ha comes from the Okay. For some um, reason I can't I can't uh, highlight. But okay, so listen NG3055. This ha yeah. has a soft sound and the big ha has a prominent sound. Okay? So can you recite the first two verses again? Okay, because we have a lot of examples of these. <laughs> Okay. Now try again. Qul huwa Allah. Okay. Qul huwa Allah ahad. Qul huwa Allah ahad. Much better. The other thing is you prolonged the ya over here. So again, on top of ya, we only have the short stroke of fatha. So don't prolong it for too long. Lam yalid. Lam yalid. Much better. And lastly, we covered this rule today. So do you know what rule you have to apply here? Um, On noon sakin? Idgham. That's right, idgham. And it's followed by lam, right? So are we going to do complete idgham or partial idgham? Complete. That's right, complete idgham. And do we do a nasal sound in complete idgham or not? No. 
That's right. Excellent. So all the students should remember for complete idram, we don't do nasal sound. For partial idram, we do a two second nasal sound. Jazakallah NG3055. Jazakallah. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Okay, can we have another student? Assalamu alaikum. Can NG3075 unmute herself? NG3075. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah. Which surah are you going to recite today? Maun. Okay, Surah Al Maun. All right. And you haven't recited that before, have you? No. Okay, you can start with Tabuz. So I'm going to resume the screen share. Okay, so first of all, uh, your hips was really good. Okay, you just need to revise it a few times so that you can recall it um, quickly. Okay, and you don't need uh, any help, uh, but your hips is really good. Okay, in terms of pronunciation, uh, that is excellent as well. Just a few things which you can work on. Okay, so just like the last student, don't spend too long on the scene. Okay, and do you remember what I said to the previous student about the this ha? Um, no. Okay. So we have two types of ha. We have a small ha and we have a big ha. Okay, this one, big one, has a prominent sound. It comes from middle of the throat. Okay, and we have to differentiate between the two ha. So it's important that we pronounce them correctly. Okay, so you can uh, note these things down and you practice them. Okay. Um, the other thing is raw. So is the raw going to be thick here or thin? The sound of raw. Okay, so NG3075, uh, do you think the sound of raw here is thick or thin? That's right. And why is it going to be thick? Because of the fatta, you have to make it um, uh, thick. That when That's it's right. going to be madda, we have to make it thick again. No, it's not going to be thick. It we will be thick. It... it will be thick if it's fatha or damma. And it will be thin when it is carrying kasra. Okay, very good. Yes. Well done. Uh, the next thing, when you were uh, reciting the hips, you didn't stress on ayn. Okay, so on top of ayn, we have the shdeed. So make sure that you stress on it. Make a double sound. Ya do oh. Try. Ya do oh. 
Excellent. So, very good. So when we are reciting from, um, from uh, without looking at it, we don't know um, where there is tashdeed and where there isn't, right? While doing the hips, you have to look at each word and each letter carefully, okay? And remember the places where there is a tashdeed. Okay, and while reciting from your heart, you have to apply all the rules. So next, um, you did, uh, you applied the rule of it all nicely, which we did, covered today. Okay, and here we have known sakin followed by sod. So do you know which rule you applied here? It is, um, uh, so, Do we manifest um, the sound clearly or do we conceal it? Conceal it. You can recite it again. That's right. And you did conceal it. Okay, so well done. The name of the rule is ikhfa. Okay, and we do ikhfa when noon sakin is followed by a letter other than throat letters or idram letters or iklab letter, which is ba. Okay, and this was also covered in our um, previous lesson. So well done. The last thing. Okay. So here again we have the letter. Okay, we have the letter Ain. Okay, and it comes from the middle part of the throat, just like ha. Okay, so it has a prominent sound. Wayamna una. Wayamna una maun. Wayam. Okay. And, and, and G3 is your sound five. Here yes. we have an alif. So do you, do you know what rule applies here? Um, uh, it's a mm -hmm. No, uh, this you have to make it two seconds because it's blank. Alif. That's this right. Alif blank. That's right. This is alif mat, okay, alif of elongation. And how do we know that? How can we identify alif mat? Um, because. Look at the previous letter. Okay, so the previous letter is carrying the fatha, and that's how we identify alif mat. Okay, uh, Jazakallah NG3075. I have a question. Yes. Um, when my mom makes a mistake, I tell her what the thing, and I know which part. When in the middle of the letter, when it's like Alice in the middle of the um, 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 um just read letter, you have to prolong it. We don't have to um uh, prolong with the alif. I know that because I told my mom last time. Okay, well done. That's very good. If you know the rule, you can also correct other people in your family. Okay, Jazakallah NG3075. Jazakallah. Uh, can I request the ST to pick another student now? Assalamu alaikum. Uh, can NG3092 unmute herself? NG3092, Assalamu alaikum. NG3092. Okay. Uh, NG3092, can you unmute yourself? Okay, NG3092 doesn't seem to be here. Um, I'll give you another name, another ID. NG3101, can you please unmute yourself? Asalaamu Alaikum, NG3101. NG 
एन जी थ्री वन जीरो वन अस्सलाम वालेकुम ओके सो दे आर नॉट अनम्यूटिंग देमसेल्स कैन वी ट्राई अनदर स्टूडेंट एम ए जी थ्री जीरो जीरो सेवन A G three double zero seven. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Okay. So, which surah are you going to recite today? One that you have recently memorized. Okay. Surah Al Baqarah and. How many verses? Uh, four. Okay. Okay. You can start with the verse. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alif Lam Mim. Zalik al Kitabulare Bafi. Odalil Mut. कबलिकुम कबल आखिरते हम युकिनुन उलाए इकाहो इज़ाद ओके अम्म बस इनफ ओके So that was up to verse five. Okay. I'll resume the screen share. Okay. Okay. So let me resume the screen share. So your hips was good. Uh, you started. Uh, you were. I think you were um, forgetting a little bit near the end. Uh, but that's not a problem. Okay, uh, you have memorized. You have put in an effort, which is very good. Just keep revising and keep practicing, and inshallah, it will become perfect. So, in terms of pronunciation, there are a few things uh, which you can work on. Okay, so first of all, do you know why I've highlighted the letter to here? So this is a very common uh, mistake. Three zero seven. Yes. Okay, do you know why we have uh, why I've highlighted that this ta? Because because ta is a vertical fatha, and you have to uh, pronounce fatha. That's right. But the reason why I've highlighted it here is because it's a thick letter. Okay, and a lot of people they round. The ta and they say twa, okay. So twa is not right. Um, it just has to round your lips, okay, and make a thick sound. Mena shay ta on try. Mena shay ta on rajin. Much better. So let's go to the sura text now. So. Here I've highlighted the letter zal, okay, and we have two letters zal and za. So here you can see rozakna hum. Here we have za, okay, and we have to differentiate between sound of zal and za. Zal has a vibrating sound. There is a vibration in the sound, okay, and to get the correct sound, the tip of the tongue touches the uh, tip of the up. 
upper front. Zalika. Try. You try it. Try it. Uh, from where? Yeah, Zalika. 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 Okay, so again, Zalika. the tip of the tongue. Zalika. Yeah, that was much better. Zalika. That was much better. Do you know what rule we have to apply here on la? Uh, tip of the tongue. Okay, so here we have an alif mud, alif of elongation, and we have to prolong two seconds. Okay, la roiba. Okay. Try. Happy as you got it? G. 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 Okay, so can you try? La roiba. La re ba fi. Okay, that was much better. Okay, and again we have qaf and sod, which are thick letters. So remember that and make a thick sound for them. One last thing that I'll ask you is the rule we apply here on moon sakin. Do you know the name of the rule? Ikfa. <laughs> Well, that's right and we have to apply it here as well so you do know the rule okay but you didn't apply it so when you, you are doing the hifs remember to do ikhfa here and when you are memorizing memorize it mm -hmm. that way don't memorize it like unzila okay otherwise the mistake will stay with you forever you have to memorize it as unzila okay unzila unzila Okay, that is much better. Jazakallah, AG 3007. Can my other son have a go? I'm very sorry. If, unfortunately, we are coming to the end of the class. Okay. okay. No Thank you very much. Thank you. No problem. Inshallah. Okay. Inshallah next time. So now okay. we are going to uh, we are going to end with homework and ending prayer. So the homework for today is is verses 13 and 14. Okay, also make sure to revise the surahs which occurred previously, which includes Surah Al Fatiha, Surah Al Fil to Surah An Nas. Okay, these are the last 10 chapters of the Holy Quran and Surah Al Baqarah, verses 1 to 12. So make sure to revise. If you haven't memorized any of these, memorize them. And I also want to um, tell everyone please send your recordings uh, for the last five chapters in Surah Al Fatiha. Because um, from now on, we will only listen to the other surahs in class. It's not possible to uh, listen to all surahs from all students. However, if you send in the recording, we will check them and we will record. Okay, so please send his recordings of Surah Al Fatiha and the last five chapters at g3hips at gmail.com. Okay, in the subject, please, it's recording. So let's end in prayer. We pray. ST. and AG3062 unmute themselves. AG3062, Assalamu Alaikum. AG3062. Okay, since we are running out of time, I will uh, do recite the prayer myself. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Allahumma arhamni bil Quran al Azim. Ali Imam wa Nur wa wa Rahmah. O Allah, have mercy on me through the Great Quran. 
and make it for me the leader, right? the guidance, and the mercy. Jazakumullah. So with this, we are going to end our today's class. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.